wasn't long ago that a KU football player thought he may never play again. A horrific pain took him off the field, and a rare diagnosis could have benched him for life. But as Danny Welniak shows us, Ryan Shadler didn't let his condition control his life. I just thank God every day for his miracles. So, A little over a year ago, number 33 wasn't sure he'd ever get back on this field. During fall camp, it was extreme pain in my abdomen, uh, bloating to where it hurt to like just stand up. And then I felt just like I had the flu constantly. The following days were filled with visits to multiple doctors and even the Mayo Clinic, all coming up empty. Finally, at Lawrence Memorial Hospital, an answer to their prayers. Shadler was diagnosed with intestinal malrotation, a birth defect he'd been dealing with his entire life until it was finally too much pain to take. So that's where your large and your small intestine um, at birth, they, they rotate and they get kind of like twisted up into like a knot or, or there'll be like vertical instead of horizontal. You know, I don't know all the scientific terms to it, but I know that it's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Four hours of surgery and a painful year-long recovery process left him unsure if he could return to the sport he loved and the team who'd supported him throughout the entire journey. He could have done track and field, and, and it, it, we even talked about that. If, if the doctor said he couldn't play football because of the seriousness of the injury, he might have went on and done track. But when they said that they thought he could come back, he wanted to put in the effort to do it. So we support him. Ryan had worked too hard and risked too much to go back to the track. His freshman year, he accepted a scholarship to run at Wichita State. But only a few months into his collegiate career, a burning desire to return to football overwhelmed him, triggered in part by a nearby high school team. What was it that ultimately urged you to want to play football again? When you step on the track every day and you're feeling really sick, you kind of want a new scenery a little bit. And that's not it, all of it. I mean, of course, my dorm overlooked Capen because they played their home football games at Cessna. And I would Friday nights would just absolutely kill me. I couldn't even I couldn't bear to watch anymore. I was like, I gotta play. So I didn't want to live my life, you know, in regret and and wish I had done something. So I just went ahead and took a jump. So <laughs> Division I colleges weren't interested in another Kansas kid with big numbers in a bad league. But just when Shadler thought D2 was his only chance to get back to the game he loved, KU's interim head coach picked up the phone. Hey, it's Coach Bowen, head coach at KU. I want you to join our team and whatnot. Little did he know that was only the first of many victories during his time in a Jayhawks uniform. Putting it on this year, his junior season took on a whole different meaning. Just being able to, to showcase that in, in front of people and just live that out because I didn't think I would ever be able to, to do that again. And so uh, it's just definitely a blessing. His mom, Donna, can't hold back her emotions while watching every time he takes the field. Then my mom gets emotional still when I run out there every time she tells me. So even some of my coaches and friends have told me like, they're like, wow, like when they see me out there practicing, like they didn't even know if I was going to live. And so I think just support your kids and, and um, just help them succeed in their dreams. His body has recovered better than most people believed. And three years after leaving the Shockers track team, he's proving he belongs on a division one football field. Right, good luck to you guys. Go get that. Although one win might not seem like a successful season, for the Shadler family, it was. Oh, it's been amazing. It's been an answer to prayer for sure. I'm Danny Walniak, KCTV5 Sports. Shadler celebrated several milestones after his diagnosis. He also got married.